Sorry, Doc. We just came from. I know we smell like oysters. I know. <laughs> all, all right. right. All right. <laughs> all right. Welcome back. Dr. Bob Cassidy, of course, joins us every week to answer some of your medical questions. Yeah. Okay, Dr. Bob, this one is big around our newsroom right now. Mm -hmm. There's a nagging yeah. cough oh. going around. Yeah. How do you know if it's serious or not? What should you do? This comes from Mike. Yeah, so really one of the big reasons of cough that you're going to get this time of year is what we call a post-viral cough, meaning you contract an upper respiratory illness, which is going to start out as fever, sore throat, a cough at that time, maybe feeling fatigued and some body aches. And most of those symptoms are going to improve over three to five days. But then this cough can sort of just hang on even up to like a month. Mm. Um, that's a very common cause of a lingering cough. So there's a couple things that we think might contribute to this cough. One can be posterior nasal drip, so you still have some congestion it trickles down the back of your throat and causes a cough. Antihistamines like Benadryl or Claritin will help that. Mm. Sometimes we think that the virus that you had early on um, can cause some irritation to the lungs and then that might actually respond to an inhaler uh, in the short term. The good news is either way this is going to get better on its own. Mm. That's great news. That's great news for a lot of folks like I said in the newsroom right. but also in the Yeah, you just got to stick it out. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, uh, bitterly cold temperatures are on the way in the next few days. so. One of our viewers wants to know how should people with aches and pains actually prepare? That's from Judy. Yeah, people with chronic arthritis do seem to get you know, worse pain when the weather is cold. We don't quite understand why that is. Mm -hmm. um, a couple thoughts. One is oftentimes the barometric pressure can be a little bit lower, which can allow the joints to swell more and can increase pain. Um, for those types of problems, trying to wrap your, your joints, you know, with like an ace bandage or a wrap that you can buy would be good. Trying to stay active so you're moving the joints and getting that extra fluid out of there and then using heat, like a heat pad or heat wrap can be helpful. Um, sometimes, uh, pain can be related to our mood and in the winter it's dark it's cold and our mood can get a little bit down uh, so that might be something that worsens our pain during the winter so try to get out see the people you love try to stay active and again you know get exercise and try to keep your mood up really quickly I, I, if it's it okay if I can mention I, I was yeah. just about to say yeah when you're a negative Nancy everything hurts right? <laughs> and you're like oh that I'm done my back hurts that's so true I'm in a bad that's a mood good point. and talk about really quickly uh, to follow up to that this is my own question here hypothermia the frostbite mm -hmm. and sure. things like that yeah so you know the Cold, cold weather's coming and really you just have to not get exposed to it. So mm. wind is, is a big part that's going to actually, you know, bring the temperature down that we experience even more. So dressing in layers and having the top layer be something that is going to resist the wind is going to be really helpful. Um, but you need to stay inside, you know, especially people with uh, chronic medical problems who take medicines that can increase your risk of, of getting hurt by the, the cold weather. And for people who drink too much alcohol, that's a big problem too because you might make poor choices and then you may not notice if you're, you know, your limbs are getting cold or having pain. So yeah. stay warm. And speaking of the cold temps, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people, we seem to lose our voices oh my in the winter time. Yep. I think, you know, uh, it's so dry out right now. This comes from Josh, but I also echo this. Yeah, so, I mean, this is actually a similar answer to the first question. A lot of times these are going to be related to a virus that we get. Uh, and, you know, everybody gets colds. We get a few every year. Um, so, again, that's typically going to go away on its own. You just, again, just have to kind of deal with it. You know, drink some, some hot tea with honey in it, mm -hmm. gargle salt water, those sorts of things. And that should get better within a few weeks. If you have a hoarseness, or a loss of your voice that's lasting more than that, you know, we do want to make sure other things aren't going on. Sometimes it can be a, a simple problem like heartburn or allergies. Those can affect the vocal cords. Um, but we do want to make sure nothing serious is going on. So mm -hmm. if you have weight loss or pain, coughing up blood, you know, some of those scary things, mm -hmm. those are things that you should definitely go see your doctor or if the symptoms are lasting four to six weeks, you know, check yeah. in. Gotcha. Okay, Dr. Bob, we appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I just cleared to see my you guys. throat doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we appreciate you guys. Of course, sending in your medical questions as yeah. well. If you have one, you can always leave a post on the 16 News Now Facebook page. Just search WNDU. We'll be right back.